Hi, welcome back to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. I'm getting back to pouring for a minute. On the last couple videos, if you look back, there are some ocean inspired resin pours. So today I'm working on 12 by 16 refurbished canvas. I got the back taped. Make sure it's level. So I'm going to be doing something a little different that I've never done before. Denny Jo, her YouTube channel. I'll have it linked in the description. She does a marble ghost pour. And she really doesn't disclose the recipe, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what mine is right now in case this works. If it doesn't work or not exactly like hers, that's fine too. You know, we all have our uh, ways we do things. So the base is gonna be a black. It's Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. This. Yeah, I'm lucky to have the flow. I brought it with me to Hawaii. And I have about an eighth, an eighth part of GAC 800 and just a splash of Liquitex pouring medium. I've had this for a while in a container. So I thought I'd use that. Um, the white is Deco Art. You see that? Satin enamels the same stuff that you put in a lot of your pearl pours and in this little container I'm using Amsterdam what is this deep gold so everything's <clears throat> the deco arts mixed with just Floetrol and it's not really thin um, it's It's actually pretty thick. So it's not 50-50. I just mix Floetrol until I got this consistency. Actually, it might be a little too thick now. And then in here, that gold is mixed just with Floetrol. I put it in this little bottle. I use this for my alcohol inks. So it has a very, very fine tip on it. Um, you know, I thought I could use the golden uh, fluids, but it didn't didn't work as well. I did a couple test tiles, and this seemed to work better. But we'll see. Test tiles are different than when you have a big one. Got to have a lot of paint on, so I'm going to pour. I'm not going to. I stirred it just a little bit a little while ago. Um, it's almost like a a bloom where you have a puddle in the middle is what you do your your ghost satin enamel on and you have to move it around so you need a lot of black on there to move it around where's my special <clears throat> so I'm going to just I'm going to pour more but I want to help it along I'm hoping this doesn't have a whole lot of bubbles because I really don't want that look. But, you know, those white dots sometimes look pretty cool too. Now this consistency is, it does leave a mound. Since I'm putting it out of the, out of the jar, I can't really show you. It does leave a mound. I get these corners pretty good. So that's my recipe for this. So let's see if this is going to work. I did a little bit of trial and error, and I'm sure Denny Joe did too. <clears throat> but Go ahead and check her channel out. She does them beautifully. Really pretty. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> okay, so make sure you torch it really good because these bubbles will pop up in that satin. I'm going to pour more here.
Okay, I think that's good. So you only need a little bit of this. It's going to spread out and give you that ghost effect. I do think I need... You know what? I'm going to just try it like this. I had it sitting out without a lid on it for a while. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm going to keep it sort of in the middle. I'm just going to spread it around. Let it flow off the stick. want to get any black in this white. Don't want that one. <clears throat> okay, and the gold. to all of them, but I like some gold, so I probably will. I don't know. Let's see what happens when I do this. Okay. Let's see that. Now I have a marble. She uses a very large marble, and this one is um, smaller. This should work. Okay, I'm going to start it right here. Let it roll through for a while. That's it. You know, you could probably do this with a stick too, but you know, a marble's fun. It's my first time doing this. So let's see how this goes. You notice I didn't want to torch that. I do need more. I'm gonna need more, more paint. I already know that. I might as well put it on now. Okay. Now, if you use the 24 karat gold, I tried that and it just sort of spreads out and you know leaves little sparkles um, on the edge, which is fine if that's what the look you want. I sort of wanted it to stay together, so that's why I did it this way. Okay, this is spreading out more than I would like it to. There's still going to be a lot of paint left on this, <clears throat> which I'm a little scared about it drying. Okay. Because it's not exactly thin paint. Sorry, you can't see this. Um, I need to get it off in this corner. I haven't worked with this thick of paint in a while, so I'm going to see if I can just help it along. There's plenty of paint on there, but it's just, it just has that. Get 
Okay, I'm hoping it'll level out on its own. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that for my first time. It's very different. I wish the composition would have been a little different. I'm going to go ahead and fix the sides and then I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay, here's a close-up. The glare is going to be pretty bad with this black. But yeah. Very little air bubbles. So, especially with this technique, you really need to torch good and let your paint sit after mixing for quite a while. Very cool. So thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, this recipe works, so I hope you can do this. Um, I appreciate all of you. Check out my Amazon shop. Aloha. Keep on pouring. Bye.